All right, hey guys, it's Chad from Stick Blog. I'm Stick. Um, we are out here right now at the beginning of the Foothills Trail. If you can see that there. Right there, Foothills Trail. All right, we're on the uh, Oconee the side. We're hiking east to Table Rock State Park. Our goal is to hike it in about two and a half days. Today is Thursday. It's about 10 o'clock in the morning. And we're hoping to finish up hopefully around, I don't know, three-ish or so on Saturday just to see how things go. Uh, today I got with me Craig and Fire In My Bones. And Fire In My Bones, big shout out, gave us a ride. Appreciate that. You're welcome. All right. But anyway, we're going to go ahead and get started on the trail. Uh, we're going to look to see about putting in maybe about 26 miles today and uh, just seeing what happens between here and there. So we'll see you then. Later. Hey guys, it's me. It is 11.56. So we've been on the trail about two hours. Um, Craig is just a little ways behind me. Uh, firing my bones. He turned around. He just hiked in with us for about an hour. Just get out with us and hang out with us. So that was cool. I want to say again, another huge shout out to firing my bones for giving us the ride up here and helping us stage our car and all that. That's pretty cool. We appreciate it, man. Um, we appreciate all the information you shared with us. And uh, looking forward to the hike. So like I said, right now, it is uh, basically 12 o'clock. Hiking two hours, we made it a little over five miles, maybe five and a half miles at this point. So it's uh, about the time that I think we're looking to get as long as we can keep up the hike I'll show you the trail instead of looking at me I will say that looks like my battery's already almost dead I'm not sure what's up with that I do have one more so my video might be a little limited on this hike um, but anyway we're looking to go up around Round Mountain so a campsite up there that's 26.5 miles from where we started at this morning uh, so that means we've got about 21 more miles to go. Like I said, it's only 12 o'clock, so we should have good time to get there. We'll probably be rolling in about dark. Um, just depends on how much we stop. Um, anyway, so far everything's going good. It's kind of warm. A little warmer than I expected. Well, maybe not. I was expecting temps in like the mid-80s, and I think that's about what we got. Hoping it doesn't rain. Um, they are calling for a chance of rain today and the next two days uh, 30 and 40 percent chance of thunderstorms so see how that goes but anyway i just want to do a little video just kind of update like i said my battery's running low on this one i do have another one i don't to be honest i don't know if it's completely charged last minute i took my other camera out uh, because i figured if it was going to be raining every day we was down here i probably wouldn't have much chance to use it and uh, I didn't want to get it waterlogged like I have this one. So I decided I'd go with this one. So I actually forgot my SD card. I had to stop and buy another SD card. And now my batteries are about dead. Anyway, so I'm going to get off here. Yep, it's blinking red. I better get off here. See you later. Okay, guys, real quick. Just want to do a quick little video. Um, we are here at the Chattooga River. Um, we're about... 8.2 miles or so in we stopped have us break see craig's over there having lunch we got us some more water anyway everything's going pretty good so far um it's really pretty out here it feels pretty cool next to all this water so that's pretty nice um but everything's going good the trail is actually uh back up Hey guys, it's me. I don't know if you can see me. I ain't got a whole lot of time to talk because my battery's fixing to die. Anyway, we are at Sloan Bridge. Um, at the moment it is, I don't know, it's about 9.15, 9.20, somewhere around there. 8.20. No, no, 9.20. Anyway, uh, we're fixing, we just ate some dinner and we're going to hike up to Round Mountain area. Uh, and then once we get up there, we're gonna set up our camp. Hopefully we'll be there by 11. 
uh, go ahead and set up camp, get up in the morning, and start our 32 mile day. Um, anyway, my battery is going back and forth on this camera. That's why I haven't shot any footage today. Um, but maybe I'll get some more tomorrow. I do have. All right, good morning, guys. It's me again. Um, right now it is 7:06, and uh, I think we're on Grassy Hill or Grassy Knob or something. Just past Round Mountain. Um, we pulled into camp last night about um, about 10 minutes to 11, 15 minutes to 11, somewhere around there. Um, luckily, we had stopped at Sloan Bridge and cooked our dinner, so we didn't have to worry about doing any of that. Huh? So uh, we were able to make it to camp last night, set up our tents, hammocks, throw a bear bag and uh kind of relax um slept in my bivy last night and actually did really well um i'm pretty happy with it so far i was on a little bit of a slope but maybe tonight i'll come across something better so anyway yesterday we probably ended up doing about 25 and a half miles uh, our goal is 26.4 um and we thought we got to the top of round mountain and we saw a campsite, so we took it. Um, and then come to find out this morning, Round Mountain was actually about 15 more minutes down the trail. So we're looking at today, we're scheduled 32 miles, um, possibly since we were a little farther behind than what we thought, possibly about 33. So it's gonna be an interesting day. Anyway, as you can see, I'm wearing my bug net. Um, I'm just doing that because of uh, spider webs. I hate eating spider webs, but that's what I'm doing. Uh, anyway, everything's worked out so far. No rain, thankfully. Um, it's a little bit overcast looking this morning. Um, but hopefully the sun and the wind will come and blow all this out. Um, anyway, everything's going about as good as we could expect so far. Um, I do have a little blister. On my right foot surprisingly first blister I have wearing these shoes I put some mole skin on it this morning but anyway just show you the trail for a minute I don't have a whole lot of battery left so I'm likely not gonna do a whole lot more video this is my last battery I'm on right now and it's only got two bars not sure what's the deal with that but anyway just wanted to give you a heads up and I'll see you again in a little bit later. All right, guys. According to this, we've come 28.3 miles. We are at the Natahelia National Forest, according to that sign over there. And it looks like over there is where we're going. So we'll see you then. Okay, guys, if you can hear me, this is Whitewater River. You might can understand why it's called Whitewater River. You see Craig in there making his way up. And this is behind me. All right. Okay, guys, I just did a whole like three, four minute segment of video and realized I must actually press the button and turned it off. Anyway, I just want to give you an update. Um, we are almost a horse pasture river. Um, we're a little behind schedule. Um, we decided that uh, yesterday's mileage took a bit of a beating on us. Um, I've got a blister on my right uh, ball of my foot. It's not too bad. I put some moleskin on it this morning before we left and it's doing pretty good. Um, but then my right knee is hurting. Uh, not sure if it's iliotibial band or what. Um, and then uh, Craig's right knee is swollen. Um, and then his he's got a, a bad blister on the back of one of his feet and it's giving him a tough time um i'm a little bit ahead of him right now i'm just waiting on him to catch up uh but anyway our change of plans we decided that uh instead of doing the full through hike um, we're gonna stay at Toxaway uh, river bridge whatever tonight um that should be about another i don't know hopefully about nine miles from here um hopefully 
we'll be there. It's 142 right now. Hopefully we'll be there by six. Um, hiking pretty slow today. Uh, anyway, we just decided that uh, it wouldn't be worth it for us to push on. Um, total altogether, we've probably got about 48 miles over the last two days, so that's not too shabby in my opinion. I uh, got to see some awesome scenery. Uh, got to walk along the Chattooga River, which was really awesome, and uh, Whitewater River for a little while, which is pretty cool too. And we've got a couple of more sceneries coming up. Uh, Talks Away, I heard, is a real nice place. A lot of people actually suggested us to stay there, but with our itinerary, we couldn't really work it out. However, now with the change of plans, um, it should work out. Uh, we believe there's a fella and a couple of his friends um, there. And uh, if we meet them, we're going to see if they can give us a ride to our car in the morning. Uh, if not, we'll just have to, I don't know what we'll do. But anyway, guys, I just wanted to give you an update. As soon as, uh, as soon as we get somewhere, I'll try and give you a little bit more of an update. So we'll see you then. Bye. Okay, guys, I'm at Horse Pasture Ridge. Horse Pasture Ridge Fur. Sorry. Anyway, it's looking up river. That's where we came from. Right down there getting his stuff together. That's down river. And that's where we're going. There's a uh, road coming up in about another mile. So we're going to see if we can uh, maybe get a ride from that road and uh, take it from there. We'll see. I don't know if you'll be able to get the understanding of this, but. That's the stairs. It's way up there. And then even at the top, it kind of flattens out a little bit and keeps going. So I'm going to start climbing that. See you later. Okay, guys. I'm going to do one more update for right now anyway, if you can see me. I know it's getting dark. It's uh, 8 o'clock. We've got about probably 7 or 8 tenths of a mile to get to uh, Cane Break. And then another seven tenths of a mile to get to uh, Talks Away. So we, uh, a little ways back, we had reception on our cell phones. So we called one of the lady by the name of Nancy. Um, she's listed as one of the volunteer shuttle services for the Foothills Trail. Um, we called her, asked her if she would be able to uh, pick us up tomorrow around 11:30. Um, some frozen creek trail or something. There's a, a five mile long trail that runs from Toxaway to a parking area. And uh, that's where we're going to head to tomorrow. And uh, sorry about all the movement on the camera. This last mile we're losing about 750 feet of elevation. And uh, my knee is killing me oh uh craig back there his his toe he jammed his toe he uh he's got a big blister on the back of one of his heels his stomach ain't feeling good um he's just all kind of stuff a uh, little chafe i've actually got some chafe going on um but anyway, so that's our plan. We're going to get up about 6.30 in the morning. Uh, it talks away and hike five miles to uh, the parking area. And she's going to pick us up. And then we're going to go and get our car and head on. Um, it is a bummer, I'll admit, that we didn't actually do the entire through hike of the trail. Um, you know, I'm good at planning these ambitious trips. I will say the first day first day I was actually kind of down just a little bit because we got a late start we didn't start hiking till 10 and uh, about three o'clock I was looking at all the miles we still had left to do and uh, I've been thinking about my wife and my kids even a little bit and I missed them and I started kind of getting a little down about it as beautiful it is out here it ain't as beautiful as my wife and kids um and i don't know i just have a, a, an issue with that 
So I guess that's just something I'll have to work out. But anyway, I went to bed last night, woke up, uh, felt pretty good. But like I said, we, uh, we kind of wore ourselves down. So we decided that coming off was the best thing. Um, All together, like I said, we'll have about 48 miles of the trail. <clears throat> and then of course now that five mile section uh, to get us down to the parking area. So that's going to leave us about 27, 28 miles of the trail that's incomplete. And maybe one day I'll come back and do it. I don't know. Uh, I will say it's a beautiful trail. I have enjoyed it. Um, so but anyway, here comes Craig. I'm going to go ahead and shut this off. You probably can't see me anyway. The lighting's kind of low. Um, but anyway, uh, I'll probably do some more video tomorrow on the uh, hike out as long as it's not raining. Um, we felt a couple of drops earlier today. However, I don't really see anything in the sky that looks like rain clouds, but you never know what's going to move in overnight. So anyway, guys, uh, like I say, I should do one tomorrow. Uh, so if I do, I'll see you then. And uh, if this is the last one, I appreciate you watching my videos. And uh, we'll see you later. Bye. Okay guys, we're almost at the, uh, well, this says Cane Break Trail Access. And this is part of Lake Jocasi. Goes way back there. And I guess we're going to go that way still. So we'll see you later. There's Craig. Well, you probably can't see, but this is going over the, going down into the Jacosti River. This is the uh, Toxaway River. There comes Craig behind us. This thing will sway. So, I don't know if you can see that, but boy, it's swaying. That's pretty cool. Anyway, our campsite should be just on the other side there. So I'll see you later.